مردم تهران بر ضد تحریم کشتی های ایران توسط دولت انگلستان روز به روز در حال افزایش است. the music we listen to. Um, so it really, for both young people who have no memory of Iran at that time, and for the older people like my own mother who lived at that time, I think more than anything, it really becomes very emotional when they see this film. But it's really exciting how people have embraced the film. Opowiada o tym, że kobiety z Iranu to są bardzo silne płcze charakterowe osoby. Czy kiedyś się stanie tak, że będą one mogły wreszcie wykorzystać granicą swoją charakterę do tej chwili? No, ze względu na panującą sytuację polityczną chyba nie jest to możliwe. Dla mnie ten film jest w ogóle bardzo nadziejny. Ten film mówi o cyklu, Um, that generation after generation of Iranian people have been fighting for the same thing and have at times been defeated but have always risen again and continue to fight. So I think for the young generation of Iranian, it's important to know that the torch, the torch is passed on and the struggle must continue. And um, we have never been losers, we have always been fighters. Um, so I think, for me, it was really a signal 
what these people in this film, the woman and the country, gave us the sense of courage. And, and I find that very optimistic, not, not fatalistic. He also was a man of mystery, where his um, character was more divine. In terms of, um, he didn't make sense as a normal human being in the way that he appeared in the brothel and by turning into a monster, maybe that he escaped the brothel and eventually he was the keeper of the garden. He was the guardian of the woman. So he's a kind gardener. Woman and Chado who are uh, praying or crying in the in the space where Zion is coming. What is the meaning of this? In the month of Muharram, the month of mourning, uh, where people are crying for the martyrdom of the saint. So it's a highly stylized way of recreating this ritual that happens one particular month a year, where people are cooking and crying. It's all to do with that martyrdom. The question of Iran and the obsession with my culture is because it's an unresolved relationship I have with my country. And the fact that um, this is an issue that um, it does not escape me. And I feel that the only reason I became an artist in, in some ways was to come to terms with this notion of displacement and, and this lack of resolution. And of course, it's a monologue that has turned into a dialogue. But I, I have to say that um, this is the basis of the fact that I don't find the distance to remove myself from the question of Iran and the Iranian situation.